Welcome back to another video and on this episode we're going to be getting up close and personal with the S16 Raptor from Kinetic Customs and taking you through some of the clever design features that they've put into this brilliant hammer. It literally never gets old just driving nails home into wood does it? So we're going to take a close look now at some of the different models that Kinetic Customs had until they got from the Mark 1 Nighthawk up to the new and latest edition, the F16 Raptor. We're going to talk about some of the features, some of the design changes that they've made from here to here, and then we'll go through some of the clever features that make this F16 the ultimate framing hammer. So what Sam has got here is the original F16 Nighthawk. This is the Mark 1 and the first one they actually put into production for sale. That then evolved into this, which is the F21 a slightly heavier one and this hammer is actually really special this is the original prototype because after buying the f16 nighthawk i actually started working with kinetic customs as a product tester and this was the first one they actually sent me so you can see some of the advancements that they actually made between the f16 and the 21 as well as it obviously being a heavier hammer they added some dampener holes here to actually give less vibration when using the hammer and they also put this clever little slot in here, which I'll show you what that's for in a minute. But well, that's basically to give you extra leverage when you're using a cat's paw to remove nails that are sunken in. So this is your F16, and this is the newer model to that, which is the F21. And they've added this small feature in here. Now the reason why they've added that in is when you want to denial, I'm going to try and make this as seamless as possible. So, I haven't really got enough leverage. And that hole is to put your bar through the cat's paw to make it easy and sufficient to deny. I was going to say, is that to offset it when you're still no, still? You know, yeah. <laughs> when I'm on my right leg, it's like that, yeah. The, the, the one I love about the most is that detail on the top. Look at that. Sexy, I mean, ain't it? Sexy, ain't it? So what we've got here then is actually the prototype F16 Raptor, which is their latest development. They spent a lot of time trying to make a hammer that was even better than what they'd produced already. And the main differences between these two is the fact that this one is all steel construction, where the new ones are actually aluminium shafted. They also have the ability to change the heads and the shafts. So what I've got here is two different shaft lengths. We've got a 14.5 inch and we've got a 16 inch, depending on what your preference is. Bolt it into the other, lock it off. And the preference for this would be if I was going from doing external framing to some more internal joinery, I might want a shorter handle just to make it a little bit easier when I'm working around a property internal. And it's that easy to change the handle from a 16 inch to a 14.5. You can actually buy the handles separately as a whole piece, so that if you do want to have a selection, then you can do. Now there is a strong rumor that not only can you change the handle for a different length, but there may well be different head shapes and weights coming in the very near future from Kinetic Customs. So beautiful this armor is. You're impressed? Very impressed. <laughs> I do love it, mate. So look good. At look at it. So as you can see behind me, Dave is demonstrating the top nail puller. So this is the slot on the top of the hammer. This is so it requires a lot less leverage when pulling nails out. So it's a great feature to the Kinetic F16. So there you have it, the evolution of Kinetic Customs priming hammers. And from where they started, to where they've got to now, I'm really, really impressed, which makes me even more excited to see what's next.